This room is so boring. It put me to sleep. Hi everybody, Mr. Kate here. I am in a really boring living room and we have to change that. Right now, I'm gonna infuse some design into this space and I'm gonna do that primarily by adding a statement piece on this wall. I wanna add a custom mirror and I partnered with Cabot Premium Wood Care and I'm going to create a craftsman inspired piece that sort of blends different wood tones and it's just gonna bring warmth and design into the space along with of course other decorative elements that are greatly needed. So let's get to finishing. So here I am with my wonderful bare wood mirror, and as you can see, it's bare and it needs some beautiful clothing. So I'm going to give it a beautiful finish. You could use a flea market mirror or a thrift store mirror. You just wanna make sure that you sand it beforehand. Come on, Tate. Rip with me. I wanna do two different tones. So I'm gonna use this line in the frame to designate where I apply my two different colors. So the first color I've chosen is Cinnamon Toast because it just sounds delicious. You, of course, could use colors if you wanted. Bright colors, muted colors. I'm doing these natural tones because I wanna bring in natural wood warmth into the space. And you can see this is just really highlighting the wood grain. It's kind of just coming alive. It's alive! I love that we're using this finish as opposed to a paint because paint just covers it up. I wanted a very subtle difference in wood tone, so I'm choosing Ginger Snap. I'm going to apply it to this edge. I'm just gonna peel up my tape, and ooh, there's my beautiful line. I'm just gonna repeat the same process, but this time I'm gonna lay it over the area that I already stained, so you just wanna make sure that your area that you just stained is dry to the touch. Bella! Be bellissima! Okay, let's see how that seam looks. <gasps> Beautiful! So you can see how those two colors are right up against each other and it's just a subtle wood tone extravaganza. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna peel off on the other side and let this lady dry for two hours. Oh, <laughs> that's me. All right, see you later. So this is all dry now. If you want a richer color, you can sand it lightly and then apply a second coat. But I love how this looks, so I'm just going to add my embellishment. I'm gonna do these sort of chevron shapes. They're basically L's in the corner here, and it's gonna look like the wood is sort of notched together. It's okay if these are sort of imperfect or they don't all match or they're not the same size because wood is imperfect, like us humans. <laughs> very philosophical. All right, oh my gosh. Last little L, it's done. So now it's just time to peel off this tape. Oh, it's so satisfying. Yay! Okay, I love it, I love it. It's organic, it's natural, it's warm, and it's so going to pull that room together. We really need to get this on the wall. Lick now. Ah! <laughs> it's done, it looks so good. Everything's pulled together and warm and cozy and this mirror was really an important moment because it brings in that wood tone that I really wanted because I want to make it cozy in here. So everything makes sense. We got throw pillows, we got an area rug, we got accents like flowers and detail embellishments, which is so important to make a place feel pulled together and cozy. I am not bored, although I do wanna take a nap, but like not a boring, bored kind of nap, just like a cozy one. 
So bye. See you next time. <laughs>